Yeah, son of a fuck. All right. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna have to do something about this one because either the wire is fucked up or um, either the wire is fucked up or something else is going on because it's literally just like not behaving at all. It's me off. And my captions look like they're dying. So instead of the pixel captions, you've got to use these old-fashioned ones, which don't catch my... Um, they don't catch my talking as clearly as they do, as the pixel chat ones do, but it looks like Microsoft Edge is just going to be determined fucking around today and not actually do what I need it to do. Can I get my good captions, please? Yeah, uh, no good captions today. We're just, we're just gonna have to suffer like this. Putting that aside. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope it's been restful and or productive for y'all. Um, on my end, not too bad. I was literally just kind of sitting around, um, I was just sitting around messing around doing some, uh, other stuff. Kind of just keeping it chill. Festival? All right, we take this. I'm going to keep trying to poke at Microsoft Edge in the background until it actually does what I want. Because, God forbid, I have to install Google Chrome on this computer in order to get... I might have to, which is annoying. I would prefer not to, because it's my ass, but... Eh. It looks like, for whatever reason... My captions aren't coming all the way through. Oh, hang on a second. There we go. Okay, much better. Yeah, pixel chat, I prefer it just because it is better able to keep up with how quickly I talk. Um, whenever I have to use the manual plugin, um, eh, I'm not getting rid of it because, as you can see, sometimes like emergencies happen, but. I prefer not to use it. I prefer not to use it if I have the option. So yeah, um, I don't have any announcements or anything. Uh, because we streamed yesterday, I more or less said everything important that I need to say. Um, though, as you can see, um, the phone link is, like, here. Again, again, just letting people know about it, because... Uh, oh, look at that. I'm just letting people know about it just because it's something new that I'm trying out. Um, I did add a couple of things since last night. And again, it's not like a big rush for anybody to get anything in particular. Um, I probably need to go back and turn on crowdfunding for some of those. But uh, I'll do that. Sorry. I'll probably do that sometime in this week. And then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, really, I just kind of need at some point, I guess, because there's part of the apartment that didn't get cleaned up, but eh. I think tomorrow is just going to be my errand stay before I have to go to karate, and then we'll just go from there. Alright. So yeah, I don't really have anything else to announce or anything else to say, so let's kind of just get to it. a little bit so that we're not covering it with that. Okay. I know we don't have sound yet in the game. I'm going to fix that in a second.
Yep, universe shenanigans are a go. Oh, it's because... Oh, well, as it turns out, it looks like, um, even without the game audio capture going, because I'm capturing OBS's audio directly, it looks like it works fine. So, uh, we, we take those. Yes. So yeah. Oh. Oh, you might be first. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm getting an audio doubling on my end. Oh, why? Why? I didn't want this. Hold on. right now and i can't there we go okay for some reason my mic had jumped over to both monitor and output and it was doubling up for that reason okay and we should have game audio back now sorry yeah the mic for some reason jumped straight to i was trying to speak some stuff with my audio properties and it was just like lol lamau you thought okay we, th we should be okay now i think Cursed. Absolutely cursed. Okay. Why does it sound like I'm beginning to get double? my end now. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm moving this. I'm just test I'm just testing something real quick. Can y'all hear this as I'm moving the cursor up and down? Can't now. Okay. Right now as I'm going up and down. I know I'm on a delay, but I, can you hear it right now? Okay. For some reason, the game audio capture isn't going through correctly. Um... Yeah, game audio capture isn't going through. It's not catching the right window. I have to put it through OBS, except when I put it through OBS, it was doubling. Let me see something. Yeah, now I'm getting doubling on my... Oh my god, why you like this OBS? All right, we'll make it work. I'll keep poking at it, but I don't know why it's acting up now of all times.
Yeah, we'll, we'll probably have to just live with it for today, and then I'll try to figure it out at some other point, because... Lord knows why now it's choosing to just, like, fuck with me. Anyway. All that said... Last time on Star Ocean till the end of time, uh, what happened? We already did the pr I don't- I- We're not gonna worry about it for right now. I have to troubleshoot that later. I'm not- not dealing with it right now. We can get sound even if it sounds like it's doubling a little bit. We're just gonna leave it. Cause if I- if I fuck around and I break something, then I'm- then the vibes will really be off. So we're just gonna leave it. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Uh, last time on Star Ocean till the end of time, the prison break was technically the episode before. Oh yeah, we went, we went mine exploring and stuff, and went around in a bunch of circles and did some shenanigans. Um, we rode turtles. Turtles are, turtles are nice. Turtles do fun things. Um, well, I mean, in this particular case... These particular turtles um, don't know how to slow down, really, and it was also a little bit of a pain in the ass, but we, we made it through. Um, we went mountain hiking a little bit, and now we are currently in the city of Arius, where we are going to be meeting up with Nell, with one of our newest party member, Nell. Her her boss is located in this, in this um, town. It was recently attacked by... Um, Lithian forces from Aeryglyph, where we were kind of running away from, where we crash landed. So it's going to be an interesting time because basically Nell was like, I'll break you out of here, but you are going to, um, y'all are going to do this thing where whether you like it or not, um, you're going to be joining up. And helping us figure out how we stop the airy, how we stop airy glyph from like wrecking our shit. You're gonna help us make weapons, and our main character, bless the young lad, is also like, um, no, I don't want to do that. Question mark. That's actually kind of illegal, but given the circumstances we're in, probably no choice. Let me just jump back in the strategy guide to where we were last, roughly where we were last, so I don't miss anything important. All right, Riverfront Village of Arius. Bet. Okay, so what treasures are around here that we could pick? A couple things. So let's walk around and go find... Go find some things out. This is Arius. Passage through all gates is being strictly regulated for security purposes. I'm sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing, actually. That is kind of beginning to bug me just a little bit. Let me see. One more, one more trick. Game audio capture. All right, one more time. Okay. Okay, yeah, something's up with the game audio capture plugin for some reason. Probably something broke with an update, knowing my luck. Okay, last quick test. 
Okay, we've got sound now, and it's and it's not doubling. No doubling, right? Okay, I figured out what it was. For some reason, something else got set to doing like monitor and output again, and I don't know why. Computers are cursed sometimes, y'all. Hang on a second, I need to move this throne wishlist thing again, because I didn't realize how much in the way it was going to get. Here should be fine, I hope. I lost my home, my wealth, and even my family to the repeated Lithian invasions. I suppose those fiends will someday claim my life, the one thing I have left. Okay. Um, that's a little heavy. It's just a little. All right. Map off so I can see. When I start thinking about when Aerialist's next attack will come, I get so scared that I can't sleep. Yeah, um, just as a reminder, because her talking about that reminded me, and I realized that this may hit a little close to home. Um, I also probably forgot to turn on the actual regular timers, so let me do that. So we don't have to keep going through that. Hey, Ziggy. Content warning timers are on. But yeah, as a reminder, um, Star Ocean Till the End of Time does talk about the effects of, um, does talk about and demonstrate, like, not in any fine detail, but it definitely implies, um, a lot of things about, like, loss in wartime and things like that. So, um, if any, if any of that hits, like, really close to you personally and you're like, yo, I can't hang, um, completely understandable. Uh, it's going okay. Um, the computer is giving me a little bit of, like, OBS is giving me a little bit of trouble, but it looks like we've more or less fixed it, so take those. Really no reason for me to continue living, but I'll keep struggling to the bitter end. One thing I cannot stand is losing everything to those Lithians. My life is all I have left, and I'm certainly not going to let them do whatever they want with it. That's rough. Our tavern's been reduced to rubble, but as long as we are still alive, we can rebuild any number of times. I was finally able to open this tavern after years of backbreaking work. Curse them. Curse them all. Aren't you happy to at least be alive? Let's start over from scratch. Like, it's... But, it... it hmm. That's, that's kind of like some toxic pos positivity. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be straight with y'all. That's a little toxic. Because, like... Yeah. Gonna, gonna lurk, but I want something to say hi. Might be popping in and out. All good, Ziggy. Thank you. Thank you for showing by. I appreciate it. You know what my mama said? She said it's too dangerous to play outside. I'm bored. I, I know, kid. I'm sorry, but like... I can't stand having to live in fear of the Glyphians day in and day out. It's going to drive me up a wall. It must be tough being a father. I've worked so hard till now, but I suppose it's time to go. I really am fond of this house I inherited from my parents, but my family's lives are far more important. I'm just looking for treasure, y'all. I'm just trying to find treasure. And... My feelings are just out here being constantly assaulted. Good gravy. Sorry to keep you waiting, Lady Nell. Lady Clara waits you in the back room. Welcome back, Lady Nell. I'll go prepare a warm meal for you. We've already received the redeployment request for the runological weapons. 
They will arrive in three days. Will that be sufficient, ma'am? That will be fine. Carry on. Yes, ma'am. Nice work, all. You are relieved. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Christ, I have to stream this. I need some. I'm going to talk to the mom and then have to check. Let's go. That none other than Excalibur Blade. I'm good. I am more than good. I am very good. It is good to see you. It's been, it's been a hot minute, ain't it? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome on in. I know XCB from like back in the days, back in the days. Um... Yeah, no, it's good to see you. How are you doing, man? Good to have you and welcome to the stream. You're looking well. Yeah, it's, was, yeah, it's been a minute. Like I sat there thinking about it. I'm like, nah, that like, yeah, because I don't think I got even to go to Magfest in like 2019. So it must have been like 2018 or something. Oof, Ooh, dog. Yeah, it's been a minute. Put in my delivery order before I forget. Just now, Claire. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just playing Star Ocean tonight. Yeah, glad I get to actually catch the stream. Yeah, I'm happy to have you. Cause Welcome home. Are you hurt? I'm mostly I'm fine. I see you still worry too much. I'm mostly gonna let during voice during voice cutscenes, the reason why I get quiet during those is mostly because I let the characters talk instead of me having to talk over them. So if it's like, wow, you're real quiet. It's like while while they're talking, I prefer not to talk over them. It's only because you're too reckless. If you don't want me to worry about you, try it in a little more careful. That's the line of work I'm in. It can't be helped. That may be so, still. Are these the ones? That's right. They're engineers from Greeton. They're still reluctant to help us. I see. I'm Commander Claire Lasbard of the Aquaria Runological Unit. I'm honored to meet you. So yeah, as a quick rundown, um, runology is basically what they call magic um, in the Star Ocean universe. It's also sometimes called symbology, though the people here on this planet don't know it by the name symbology. The idea is that basically you put tattoos on your body, or for certain um, species, for certain like species of alien, they actually have the symbols for symbology kind of like inscribed in their genes. Don't ask me how that works, and so they're able to kind of like cast and use symbology naturally. The name's Cliff Fitter. I'm Fate Line God. Nice to meet you. I must apologize for forcing our problems on you. However, you must understand our situation. I think we understand. But I'm not sure. I would like to hear what you have to say, and I will provide a thorough explanation of our situation as well. But you must be exhausted. Why don't we continue this tomorrow? You need your rest. Good post, 101. That's right. He may seem fine now, but fate is still under the weather. He was feeling bad at the last town we went to. Um, so we took a little break before we wound up going into the Curlsaw Mining Caverns that we just came through. The last dungeon that we did. Um, I'm fine. Hey, never pass up a chance to take it easy, kid. Good life lessons from Cliff Fitter, everybody. It was a real trek crossing those mountains. Okay, okay. There's a guest room upstairs on the second floor. Please, feel free to use it. Now, 
Stay behind. We have much to discuss. Right. Pretty good too. I'll rest up first. Take a stroll and come back whenever you feel like. We'll do. So, even though we are not making a habit out of using, um, we will make a hard save at some point just to be safe. Please use the room by the stairway. At first, we thought you'd, we'd put you in private rooms, but since you're in a foreign land, we thought it would be best if you were with someone you knew well. I mean, for a given value of well, I guess, we sort of literally just met Cliff. Um, what planet ago? <laughs> Booster. Yeah, they don't know. It's true. Aqua berries. Use those to get rid of poison. Which is, as far as ailments go in this game, poison is most definitely not the most pain in the ass one, but it's close. Mama, get this. There's almost no decent food available of late. Even when you do some, find some, it's far more expensive than it used to be. Now I must depend on this bakery and what rations the kingdom supply. Real talk, this is getting more real than I... Not that I remember, even though it's only been like two years since I played this, so it's not... I was trying to turn up the volume a little bit, but I might turn it up a little bit too high. Let me turn it down for a sec. I remember it being this real, but I think... The last time we played this, I didn't take as much time to just talk to people. So now, um, now it's real awkward. <laughs> it both, both real awkward and feeling far too applicable for my liking, even though it's all true. I should go buy a poorly wielded sword is a sad sword. If you're a warrior of low standing, never blame your inexperience on your weapon. No merchant is willing to deliver goods to such a dangerous place. So there's nothing I can do about these high prices. Don't start complaining about them. I mean, I wasn't going to. I'm literally just here for... I'm just here for gear. That's really, quite literally, all I came for. Broadsword. Long dagger and a steel gauntlet. Steel chainmail for Nell. And she made die a little bit less now. Brings a fresh sage, and I think we should be okay. Okay, my hit goes up. Okay, this is relatively good. The reason why I'm happy about my hit going up is because to sort of explain this, because I realize we have some new people in the chat, and I didn't really explain how this particular run is working. So, right now, we're playing this game on hard mode, basically, because we did a normal or galaxy mode run. Um, we did that when we first, when I first started streaming about two years ago. So, for a charity incentive, I was like, okay, universe mode. If we manage to make this much, if we manage to raise this much money for charity, we hit that milestone, and so that's why we're playing. Um, and so that's why we're playing it on hard mode, basically. But because we're playing on hard mode, the main catch to that is that um, numerically speaking, all the enemy stats have gone up, which means that against certain enemies, if my hit stat is lower than their agility, I cannot hit them from the front because there's a chance that it will miss. Like the swing will come through and then just get like this weird clanking sound. And then it's like, well, F you didn't hit. So that said, 
Um, you cannot... Attacks that hit from, like, the back don't have that evasion property. So, um... If you hit enemies from the back, even if you don't have the hit required to hit them, you'll, you'll make the hit happen. Seems they're already in Aquarian territory. But it should be safe to get some sleep here. I see how you feel a bit uneasy, though. You gonna go to sleep now? Getting kind of sleepy. The sun's still out, but I think I'll get some extra sleep in preparation for tomorrow. That's what I'd hoped you'd say. I don't want you collapsing and making all sorts of trouble for me. I'm not a rough and tumble guy like you, Cliff. I'm doing my best for characters for whom we actually hear audio. I will try to capture the spirit of their voices. And then for everybody else, I'm going to kind of just wing it. That's Cliff for you. That this this man is sneaky. Cause I know the lighting was kind of terrible, but in case so if the lighting kind of messed you up and you couldn't see what happened, Nell came in quietly, bowed to us, and then left. And then Cliff Cliff saw it, is the implication. Or at least he had an idea that she was there. How'd you sleep? Feel any better? Yeah, I feel fine. I was probably just worn out. Glad to hear that. I have a feeling things are gonna get hectic today. Why do you say that? How do you know? Just a hunch. Oh, we know all about those. Funny guy. Yeah, so... The gag here is that Cliff oftentimes talks about, like, having hunches about when things are about to go, like, all kinds of weird. Um... Yeah, he has, he usually, he's like, yeah, he usually does, like, wow, words are hard. Yeah, like, he'll have all kinds of, like, hunches, usually, right before things begin to go, um feel wild and feel weird. And sometimes it's just because he happens to be observant enough to catch things before other people do. And then he's kind of just playing silly like he like he didn't know. It also looks like Nell is also literally not in our party anymore. Good thing I have common support symbols. Because um, something tells me I'm going to have to be pulling a lot of the duty on healing for a while now. And it would have been bad if I was not ready. So we got to go downstairs. Go back over into the same spot where we figured the event before. Ah, Lady Claire. Fate. Cliff. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes. Thank you kindly. I'm glad to hear it. Right. Let us begin the negotiations. All right. Please, sit anywhere you like. 
Um, where's Nell? She's, uh... She had other duties to attend to. What? Don't worry. I'm taking over her duties as far as you two are concerned. Well, all right. Let's begin. I don't know what you discuss with Nell and the others, but you are now in Aquaria territory. Even if you refuse to assist us, I can guarantee your safety. We will have to retain custody of you until we reach the royal city of Aquinas, but you may provide us with your answer at that point. Okay, sounds good. Wow, you're really bending over backwards to meet us halfway. You should have heard Nell. Nell is very frank. Although she is extremely skilled, as I'm sure you have noticed, she tends to be rather inflexible at times. It can be problematic. Problematic. Quote one um, model scientist Solarian. Yeah, I know the type. Mission, mission, always the mission. To be honest, I too would like you to work for us, but I realize this is not your war. Our deaths and the life of our country are not in your hands. You need feel no obligation, and we have no right to force you to help. Now you're making me feel guilty. It is only the truth. At least we thank our blessings you did not fall into Eriglyph's hands. For long, anyway. So what do you want to do? Looks like they'll let us go after we reach Aquinas. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. If you have any questions, I will answer to the best of my abilities. All right, then I'll ask. What is Nell's new mission? Ooh. Our boy. Fate, Neji Huga, Line God, like, yo, listen. You, we, we gonna talk. Why would you ask that? She is no longer your concern. She told us her mission was to take both of us safely to the royal city. How could she just leave us here? To you, it appears that she has abandoned her mission. Well, yes. I didn't know her long, but I got the impression that she would never leave a mission incomplete. She, she went to rescue Tyne Avon Farlene, didn't she? <laughs> Cliff literally just like, yo, listen. I I can tell that you're that you're about to like sit here and go, uh and mm and huh and hmm and all this other stuff. I don't have time for this bullshit. She went to go rescue Tyne Avon Farlene. Like he, he was just like, I know. She was I know. Like I know she would. You're wasting my time. She just went to go get those two, didn't she? Man's just straight up said, fuck this, let's just get right to it. What? Lady Claire, is this true? Not even a little patience, patience for awkwardness. Man's just like, listen, let's just be about our business. Why would you think that? Last night, she came to our room. Huh? When? While you were snoring like a babe. I was wondering what she wanted, but all she did was bow and leave without saying a word. I was pretending to be asleep, so I don't think she realized I was watching. <laughs> For what fucking reason, Cliff? Cliff is like, yeah, you know, you should rest. Resting is good. Also, Cliff, um, sleep? Me? Nah. <laughs> Like, sleep? Me? Nah, you bugging. I don't need that shit. <laughs> my, man, my man is just like... Oh. Cliff Fitter is always doing the most. It makes sense, though, considering the situation. That's probably what you overheard them talking about in Curlson. Is that true, Claire? I can't believe it. Yes, it is. 
She left to rescue Tiny and Farley. If you knew what she was doing, why didn't you stop her? We all got our missions. Mine's to bring you back to our leader. And I stick to my missions. But... All right. I will explain. Around the time you arrived in Kursa, we received a message from Eriglo. They told us that the two women are hostages, and they demanded you in exchange. This is not possible. So she went to rescue them. But all by herself? That's Nell for you. Why didn't she tell us? We'd have gone with her. Perhaps because the odds of her success are essentially zero. She'll likely walk into an Aeroglyph trap. I tried to stop her, but there was no way. Nell would never abandon those who work for her. She pretends to be all business, but she's the type that can't let go. At any rate, that is our situation. Please do not worry about Nell. We must hurry on to Aquios. Although this is a relatively safe area, Nowhere is completely safe. Where'd they demand it take place? Why do you want to know that? I can't let her do this. Her life is more valuable than that. Do people think the only way to end this war is to throw away their own lives? I'm going after Nell. I have a few words to say to her. All right, Faith. I was waiting for you to say that. I cannot allow this. Nell told us of your skills. But this enemy is too strong, even for you. Don't worry about us. I don't know what she told you, but we can fend for ourselves. Besides, when he gets riled up like this, fate can get even nastier than Nell. He's the most stubborn, hardcore kid around. In that case, I'll send some soldiers. No need. You. We'll just be asking for them to spot us if we march in there with an army. We'll be more maneuverable in small numbers. I might have forgotten to put Nell's new armor on when I bought it. I'm pretty sure I forgot. And I could reload it because I have a safe state, but then I have to sit through all this again. So we're not doing that. And I doubt you can spare the guards, given your situation. That's true, but... Nell trusted us. You should too. Claire, where are they bringing the hostages to trade? A building on the southeastern side of Kursa. It was originally constructed as a training facility, but now they execute people there. It's also the base of the Heavy Cavalry Black Brigade, one of Eregler's three military units. How do we get there? Return to Kursa, then follow the road from the south gate of the city and you'll find it. I think you'll get there faster if you avoid the mountain road you took before and take the south gate from Arlen's. Head across the wilderness and enter Kursa from that direction. Got it. We in this together? Of course. Mm hmm. Please wait a moment. Be very careful. Their lives are in your hands. Leave it to us. Don't worry. We'll bring them home. Forgive me if I give Nell a good smack for this. We'll talk about that in a second, Stubby. By which I mean, there will come a point in time where the where there's a party member that we are forced to take on. And um, at that point, I will make it very clear how I feel about a culinary. At that point, I will make it very clear how I feel about this particular situation. Let's hurry. She left last night. We've got a ways to go to catch up. Right. Uh, how you doing, Culinary? Hopefully well. I think we should be able to finish out all of the, um, the whole, this whole map. So, um... You'll have to forgive me, I may do some fucking around and like running around along the edges and doing that. Because again, we're gonna need money. Lots of money. Because 
making items in this game is extremely expensive, but is also probably one of the only ways that we avoid getting our shit pushed in later. We're gonna start by running around the edges, mostly, and then we're gonna fill in the middle a little bit later. Whoa! Doing well, slept until 2 since I'm lazy. Yo, sometimes you just need to rest. Form Blazing Sword. Now I'm not sparing you for shit. But yo, sometimes you just need to rest. It's just what it is. I'm literally max I'm maxing out Cliff's HP as fast as I can. Y'all better believe that. Blazing door. I gotta make sure I'm safe stating, because literally the other thing that I'm doing to make sure that this is as minimally painful as possible is I'm trying to keep our bonus battle gauge as full as I can for as long as I can so that we can continue to keep getting triple XP from every fight that we get into so that we can level up faster and just generally try to stay ahead of the leveling curve as much as we can. Because there are going to be some fights that I'm going to be absolutely fucked up on if I'm not leveled up enough. We'll probably at least get a couple, but when I do, it's highly likely that if I do get a gauge break, I'm going to wind up reloading, basically. I'm just standing still for a little bit to try to level my um, standby healing. A particular reminder about Star Ocean and how it works, and why I'm setting my sword on fire a bunch. Um, you can, in this game, um, you can actually kill enemies by draining all their MP, in addition to draining all their HP. So, one of the things that you can then use that for is that if you're fighting enemies that you know are... Um, if you're fighting enemies that you know are going to um, have relatively low MP values, you can um, you can sort of like um, skate by if they have higher HP but lower MP. You just MP kill. And then save yourself the trouble. Like that, that weird little clanking sound that happened right there, that's what happens if you um, if you try to hit somebody from the front and you don't have the hit to get past their agility. It makes that weird clanking noise. Um, not a good time, which is why most of this... Um, yeah, most of what I've been doing 
while we've been doing this is mostly just hitting enemies from a lot of it has been like a lot of like hitting enemies from behind The main reason why I'm also mostly hitting with normal attacks after I light my sword on fire is because using battle skills will um, undo whatever element you currently have equipped on your sword if you're doing like Blazing Sword or some of the other moves that Fate has that put elements on his weapon. So once you do like Blazing Sword or whatever it is, um, literally you just kind of go in with like normal attacks instead and just kind of like smack the shit out of people. And since using things like Blade of Fury does take up some of your HP, it can sort of be for the better, technically speaking, insofar as, like, you kind of just, um... You wind up saving HP that way. And then you basically save using battle skills for when you're not trying to get MP kills and you just need to, like, beat the living horse shit out of people. Learned Fate's basic, basically his um, most popular battle skill. I haven't like learned it yet. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Like in Sekiro, how the umbrella prosthetic over overwrites defined confetti. Yeah, yeah, it's the same principle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Alright, my boy is not having a good time. Let's see if I can pop a healing without getting hit. Alright, nope. And that is why I popped the safe state. Because like I said, we're keeping that bad boy, we're keeping this bad boy as full as, full as we can for as long as we can. That shit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, they're too fast for me to for me to light up. That's that's bad. They're too fast for me to try to light up. We don't like that. I gotta turn up the sound on that one. Thank you for the raid, Mel Strife. I deeply appreciate it. I put in a new song, but it looks like I might have turned it down a little bit too low. So let me just do the shout out for Mel Strife. Ah, I see. 
Welcome on in everybody from Melstrive Stream. My name is Sean, you can call me either that or SJ if you don't want to get too familiar. I make games, I play games, games make do basically. And we are currently playing, as you can see, Star Ocean till the end of time on Universe Mode. You are playing Star Ocean First Departure R. I will admit to it, I gotta admit to it, I have not played either of the first two Star Ocean games. I've been meaning to, but I never get, a, I never got around to it. V is the one that I know the best, and um, relatively speaking, and we're basically doing universe mode as a um, redemption of a charity incentive. Damn it. And because we're playing on universe mode, I'm basically trying to keep my bonus battle gauge full for as long as humanly possible on account of I need every single level I can get. But um he, these horse people are gonna are gonna give me some trouble. Um Are you hyped for Star Ocean 6? Like the Divine Force looks like it's going to be amazing. I'm I was crying when I heard the news. I'm like, wait a minute. I let my guard down. Like y'all are y'all are for serious? Like we're getting a six Star Ocean game? Like, woo. Yeah, universe mode is tough. I haven't completed a run of it myself yet. Yeah. Like... It's been a time, but... Mostly the hard part is just like, Oh yeah, your hit's not high enough. Surprise. Guess you just... Guess you just suffer. So stoked. I was so sh Yeah, like I was like... Like Star Ocean getting a new game in the year 2020X? Like, excuse me? What? The only thing more surprising than that was um, Valk new Valkyrie profile. I'm like, wait a minute, new Valkyrie profile too? Excuse me? Like, am I? Did I? I'm warp. Well, what's going on here? Like, Keska fuck. Thank you so much for the follow. We do keep our followers anonymous so that people can lurk as they need. But um, we're happy to have you. Make sure you also hit that little bell so you know when I'm going live. Also, hey Mojo. You got a new Tales of game last game year, but that feels like... Yeah. Tales games usually like... Hmm. The cycle is usually for Tales games. I want to say that they usually stay like two, three years, give or take. Because Berseria came out in... Berseria came out in like 2018 or 2019, and then Arise dropped... Was it this year? So it's like a three or four year dev cycle. So, mm. yeah, I haven't played five. Um, my understanding is that they were trying to be a lot more ambitious with like having on-field... like on-field battles and everything in five but then it ran into the issue of like hey so you can like literally walk away from important cutscenes while they're happening and things like that and it's like i'm just like try ace please hold on we got a we got a voltron in this shit real quick oh no ah they had stun R. that's bad Alright, hang on. That's fine, I'll take a scram from one of them if it keeps Cliff from dying. It is not great, it looks pretty, but had some major issues, and the story really lacked too. Mm. The one thing I'm really hoping for is that they... And I say this with nothing but love, for Till the End of Time in particular. But between both Till the End of Time... And, um, The Last Hope, I really, really, I seriously need Try Ace to stop bullying with these, with the item creation systems. I do. I really do. Like, Try Ace, I, I love y'all. Dearly. And as much as one can, like, you know, love a capitalist, um, venture in, like, making video games. But it's like, 
y'all, y'all really with item creation, the way that y'all are doing this in both three and four gives me hives. It is agitating, and I need you to stop. Like item creation, like item creation systems can be fun in video games. They really can be, but the way that the way that this game and the way that Star Ocean in general just handles it is like y'all just y'all are just sadists, really, and it needs to stop. I'm begging you, like y'all don't have to do us like this. You really don't. I'm listening out for my food, so if I like pause on occasion, yep, there it is. All right, let me pick up my food real quick. Hold up. Use the restroom real quick, also. Okay, yeah, we're good now. But yeah, um, yeah, item creation, and this is the hell, this is the fucked up part. As much as item creation in this game chaps my ass, for me personally, Star Ocean 4 system is even worse. Star Ocean 4 system is even worse. It is even worse. Oh my god. I hate, I see in Star Ocean 4 so much because in this game you can kind of sort of you can kind of sort of maybe with a little bit of like grime and preparation at least get a pretty good idea of hey if I run this all I really need to do is pass the the RNG check and it's gonna be fine um but aside from that Ah, see, ah, so I see. Culinary was like me, and they got it early before The Last Hope International came out, where you can then turn on Japanese voice acting, and you don't have to worry about that. Limo's a good kid, though. I love her. So, yeah. If I ever play Star Ocean 4 on stream, because I have The Last Hope International for PC, we're playing it in Japanese, y'all. If I can, like, grip my teeth and, like, get over how thoroughly that game betrayed me, and we wind up playing it on stream. Whoa, okay, okay. I like how Cliff said you're wasting my time, immediately got stunned, and then we got, and then we got... Gauge broken. Ah. This fucking game! Let me pause this for a second and actually read chat. Eating recipes and stuff like that, no thanks. Why? Yeah. Like, there's literally, like, the level of control that you don't have if you don't have recipes is. Like, the lack of control you have when you don't have recipes is literally, is almost literally a crime. It's just like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this like this? Let me get a plate real quick so I can... Let me get a plate real quick so I can put down this ketchup. I forgot to pick one up while I was standing up. Just recently played the entire Star Ocean series except for two because I don't have a copy. Yeah. Whenever I get around to it, 
are we gonna do first departure R and then second evolution? If I ever get around to playing the first two. Um, video game remakes can be very good. And I like it sometimes when companies take the time to do that and give us good ones. Um, I get in my feelings when they either, and like even if you can't do like a full up remake, if you have any capacity to like re-release it in any way, that'd be really great and that'd be really nice. And I know that capitalism conspires kind of against that because, you know, capitalist systems can only think about like continual growth over the pursuit of anything else, but yeah, like a good remake. Good remake is really nice, right? Or at least a re-release in a pinch, right? Um, the part is really good. You'll like it. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm not planning on getting to it anytime soon, but it's like, oh, if I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play that one. And yeah, RNG in general, yeah, it can be kind of a pain, right? Um, it's one of those things where it's like, when you don't think about it, the other part of it is also that people, myself included, even though I'm talking from like a game design perspective, as a designer, it's sometimes really hard to wrap your head around how randomness really feels with certain things. And if you're not careful, it's very easy to fit the tuning on it entirely. Okay, yeah, we, we, we're getting good MP damage. Did you literally just walk over here just to strong attack me? You absolute piece of shit. You absolute piece of shit. Will you stop? Can you stop, please? I I, I would like it if you'd stop. Okay, that's some, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Where are these crits coming from? Stop. I mean, they're sort of they they sort of aren't, but it's one of those things where also going this way to try to fill out the map. Kind of kind of blocking my way. I have to I have to do I have to do something about it. Okay, fuck y'all. Sword. My sword's on fire, what you gonna do? Fuck! It also doesn't really help that I'm, I've been literally trying to guard, and they either... <laughs> Thank you, fuck! Like, I've literally just been trying to, like, parry one fucking hit.
There we go. That was easy. If anybody clipped that after I said what you're gonna what are you gonna do? And then I got Thank you, Culinary. And then if anybody's in the Discord who wants to like drop that off in the clip section, feel free. Um <laughs> Okay. But now that we've mostly got that handled, I'm gonna try to avoid the the other one. I'm gonna try to avoid that one. We're just gonna fill in this inner part. And then we're gonna go back around. I know running around the map is unfortunately not the most exciting part. But um, again, mostly to um, Mel's point from earlier, item creation in this game is a fuck, and you need as much money as you can get, and I absolutely need to, I need a lot, I'm gonna need a lot. So, yep, get those bunny statues, because you keep one, and then you literally sell every other one that you get. Form Blazing Sword. Hold on. Let me make sure that Clip doesn't fucking die. If he if he fucking if he fucking parks it. I'm really happy that neither of those motherfuckers hit me or I would have been so upset. Oh yeah, like golden eggs? Yeah. Pretty accurate. Shit. Fuck that. Spare your life? No. That means I don't get as much XP. Fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah. Goodbye this ass. Get fuck. If I ever figure out where I can just find like clean clean sound rips for this game. If I can ever get or find clean sound rips of this game, I am going to grab that sound clip and I'm going to turn it into a sound effect. Because <laughs> we need it. Unrelated, but I love how all fantastical set Capcom games all call their monies any. Yeah. Capcom has a brand and they know what it is. Sure would love a breath of fire <laughs> I'm in pain. Shit. That's a good one. <laughs> I also know that you're serious, but that's a deep cut. That is a deep cut. Sweet Papa Jesus. Yo! Ooh, that's a deep cut. Um, for those of you who don't get what I'm getting at, um... And if Culinary didn't know this, I'm, I'm sorry in advance that I'm about to both say something that might be, like, earth-shaking. There actually... Was? Question mark? A Breath of Fire 6? Mobile only. Japan only. And I have no idea if it's still running. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Then we're having a Bruno moment. I still haven't seen Encanto, by the way. I just know... I just know about the name of that meme by, like, sheer, um... By sheer mimetic propagation. 
But yeah. Oh, okay. We. We're having a we don't talk about Bruno moment. Bet. Yeah, that's a soul. Yo. I don't even hate Dragon Quarter because I didn't like play it. But for people who are like, I really hate Dragon Quarter. It's such a. It's like uh, such a horrible game and etc. I will encourage. I will say to you, pretend that it's Dead Rising, and that will probably wind up. If, and if you like Dead Rising, you'll probably like Dragon Quarter to some degree. They're not the same genre of game, but they have a very similar thing where it's like... It is expected that you will be starting over and replaying it a bunch in order to really get um, the most out of it. Just kind of like by design, because the same members of the dev team would then go on to do like Dead Rising. Form Blazing Sword. That's not fair. You don't, you don't. Mom said that you don't get to have so many iframes. Shut oh. up, Cliff. I'm working on it. Kanto is great. Yeah, I've heard I've heard really good things about it. I just um I haven't watched it. I just haven't made time to watch it. But now that I've um <clears throat> I've relearned how to uh sail the salty seas, um there are a lot of things that I'm just trying to like catch up on watch wise. Like both the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. Um th those 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 were great. Um very, very good. This kind of need Hollywood to sort of... I know that they won't because it's Hollywood, but I also need Hollywood to, like, recognize also that, like, you know, especially if they're not, like, already booked, you can literally just, like, especially if it's an animated movie, just just have the people who do the voices for those characters already, if it's an adaptation, come back and do them. Like, that, that's really... That's a thing that you can do, you know? Like, it's legal. It's, it's cool, and it works. It's not like voice actors don't know how to act. They they, they do. They're very good at it, in fact. Um, all right. Here's the last little tedious bit now, where we got to run along the edges one last time and try to squeak out those last little piddly percentage points. And then once we have these, we're good to go back into curl up. We just made some, we just made some easy money. All I gotta do is just not get caught by one of those armored motherfuckers and we're good. Shit! Somebody clip that. <laughs> God damn it. Every fucking time, I'm just cursed tonight. Alright. 2016 call if they want their dad back. They can buy it from my cold, dead fucking hands. God damn it! Leave me alone, you motherfucker. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stop. Just, just stop it. Go away, okay? Fuck y'all. I got what I wanted. Inverse of Punish Snake, where he did something in English, but it's still Akio Otsuka. Uh huh. Hundred percent. All right, we're gonna stop at the inn and rest up, and then we're gonna head over to the Curl Saw Training Facility. Um, shit, are we at two hours yet? Let me see. No, not yet. About half an hour or so. I, 
I've been trying to be more intentional about taking breaks halfway through stream. Um, just because it's good to get up and stretch and like move around and all that. Even though we're not really using hard saves, we can never be too careful. So even... The reason why I'm still making hard saves even with save states is because... On the off chance that something absolutely disastrous happens, I want to have a backup. It means that I have to bring, build up my bonus battle gauge all over again, but... Do what you gotta do sometimes. Alright. I gotta go sell my scale bunny. Let me go sell that shit. Make me that money. I got money. And then we'll be able to pick up another one on the way to the Kurosawa training facility. Keep one, because they don't stack. So we keep one, and we just keep set, and we just sell whatever other ones we get. <laughs> hey, Thin, what's up? I got the dab, I got the lightning bolt. I got memes for days, y'all. Unstoppable. Okay. So now let's go down. Should be the south gate, she said, right? Yeah, as per usual, we're going to do the edges first and then work our way back inside. Like I said before, we should basic. We're not going to be able to finish the map for the Curlsaw training facility, I think, because um, a lot of the indoor dungeons in this game require like a mid game item in order to like fully explore them. Hey, Vallejo. So we got to make do basically with like filling out as many. Um, outdoor maps as we can, because those are the ones that are most likely to not have um, any permanent obstructions that we can't get around. Oh yeah, now we got these Black Brigade nerds running around. So we're going to be in for a fun time. So how you doing today? How you doing today, Vallejo? Hopefully well. More safe state. Okay. Look. Shit. God damn it. So basically the rules for the bonus battle gauge as far as like when it will break. If I get hit by a critical attack, whether it's a... They got shit for MP, so... Damn it. So even if the attack isn't like a strong attack by the aura, um, if I get hit with a critical, the gauge breaks. If the character I'm controlling dies, the gauge breaks. If I try to run from a fight, the gauge breaks. So... Those are all things you kind of want to avoid.
good thing about these enemies is that they have they have shit for MP basically. So if I can get a blazing sword and then not die, I can MP I can basically MP kill them. But it involves a lot of like It involves a lot of like not getting hit. Alright, Valeo. Enjoy your lurk. Good. Do you want to get back on putting away the ghosters? Oh. And the main reason especially why we really don't want um, it to break is because at least where we are right now, you'll notice that the bonus battle gauge doesn't start out at like a full 100%, which basically means that it takes even longer to fill up. All right, Cliff, keep living on Fury, bud. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You're doing great. You're doing great. Working on it, dude. Good chunk of XP though. 262. Yeah, they're a pain. But XP wise, the payout isn't too bad. We'll take a level in MP over here. Cliff doesn't have enough for another HP level yet though. Hits done. Oh, when did he learn Hammer of Might? I didn't even know he had that shit. Damn. So basically, yeah, Cliff's battle skills are all. They're not bad, but they're all very short range. Um. Actually, hell. Let's just give him Hammer of Might for both. I think, I think Hammer of Might does MP damage. Which, again, in this game, we take that. Because if you hit somebody with enough MP damage, they, they will die. So... Take those. That, that that is a thing that we do. Okay. PCSX2 is having a moment. Yeah, that's MP damage. Unfortunately. Yeah, Hammer of Might is the shit. Like, Hammer of Might is the shit. Like, y'all... Y'all saw that. Like... It hits a much... It's a little bit less finicky. It's a little slow. It's a little bit less finicky than Spear of Might is. And... 
more importantly, it kind of hits a wider area. Yeah, now our boys cook in. Now our boys cook in. Look at that shit. My man, my man said, I don't need a... My man said in another life, I gotta hit you with some electricity. But in this life, I just gotta swing my fist and hit big. Damn, I just bought one of those for now. Shit. That's full I could have saved. That's annoying. It's fine. God damn it. It's because I did Blazing Sword. I did Blazing Sword, so I didn't have the Fury to guard that. They literally timed it just so that as I was finishing it, I got hit. Which, fine. But you know. That's the way it be sometimes. And then here's the Curlsaw training facility over here. So if we go in, that's the dungeon that that's the dungeon that we're supposed to be doing. And we will in a second. But again, that sweet, sweet map completion, it calls to me. In its own way, so I guess I could talk design turkey for a second to kind of break up some of this. While it is kind of annoying to fill out each map, it does kind of lend some weight to making you want to by giving you the scale bunnies as an incentive. This is one of those things where it's like if you're if you're diligent and you take your time, you find items, right? You get a scale bunny, which once you have one of them, is basically good enough to carry you the rest of the game, and then you can just literally sell the rest for money. It's one of those things that I find that while on the face of it, it's like, wow, this is kind of a pain. Um, it's also one of those things that kind of brings its own form of equilibrium to the actual... Um, it kind of brings its own form of equilibrium. Bullshit. I call bullshit. That's bullshit. But yeah, like, map completion in its own way winds up then, as tedious as it, as it is, you're actually rewarded at least kind of proportionally for it. Right? Because especially with the way that item creation works and the fact that you really are going to be wanting to, like, put together as many, um, and really try to put together as many, like, inventions as you can, being able to sort of, like, get seed money without too much effort is a pretty good a pretty good thing. Whoa. That that wasp enemy literally just like nearly dropped on me. Like you got games on your phone? Yeah, that would be kind of scary. But um I somehow didn't get hit. So we take those. But yeah, 
like, without being able to, like, sell the scale bunnies and everything, I can be very straightforward in saying that, um, like, there are parts of this game that would be much more of a pain in the ass than they are. Um, whoop. And I'm kind of grateful that, even though it is a little tedious for filling out maps, and sometimes it's just, like, straight up dangerous, at least you're able to, like, take the reward that you get once you have no use- once you have no use for it, and actually, like, make something actionable out of it. Might is doing some work. It really is. Like, I'm impressed. Because it's like, yo, wait a minute. Like, Cliff literally went from, like, nearly getting, like, unga bunga brushed down, like, he was fighting against a Leo or something, to, like, yo, hey, guess what? I am the one who swings. It's me. And that's good. But also, I was not expecting such like a literal jumping capability just off of that alone. That's a very good battle skill. Much... Not that I thought it was bad, it's just that it's a lot more handy than I was expecting it to be. Alright, we're almost there. Almost got that sweet, sweet completion bonus. And mostly the trick for trying to sort of figure out if you're missing the last little points. Usually, the best thing that you can do, once you, once, if you feel like you've gone through the edges of it, is to try to just like jam yourself back up into these sharp little corners. Because sometimes, you can squeeze out a little bit of a chunk of a percent by digging in just hard enough to maybe slightly reveal one of the edges, one of like the edges on the inside that doesn't look like you can reach it. And that's usually how you wind up like getting... Sometimes it can only be like small chunks of percentage point, but like digging into those corners and kind of pushing a little bit further is usually where like your last little tents and stuff like that tend to be, um, tend to not have been revealed yet. I think I almost... Yeah, we've almost got it. So you don't need like a- you don't need a perfect 100. Basically when you get to like 99 point something, give or take, they give you the reward for it. This corner, we did. Yep, like that. And let's see. Usually, like, your best bet is that if you see what looks like an, like, like, this little edge above me here, right? Or this little one over here to the side. Sometimes these edges are the ones that are worth coming back to. Or, like, you can kind of see this little, that, those little two cat corners over there that I'm coming toward. Dig up a little bit here to see if that, 
to push that one out. We just got another six there, another little bit there. Yep. We're gonna hold on to that one until after we're done with the training. We're gonna hold off on selling that one until we're done with the training facility. That's another 9,000 full right there. Easy money. Yikes, 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 yikes. They've got MP killed. That's not good. Yeah, so that's the unfortunate thing about using Cliff, though, is that while he has very high HP, which means that he can like pump out a lot of battle skills and generally not have to worry about it. Um, his MP is shit. It will always be shit. No matter what you do, it will always be some degree of shit. It just goes from being absolute shit to just being marginally better. It doesn't mean he's a bad character, but it means that if you know you're in an area where enemies are gonna MP kill you a lot, if you have the option of not carrying Cliff Fitter, don't carry Cliff Fitter, because that man will die die fast and nobody nobody has a good time nobody no one's here i wonder if we're too late don't say that well hold up I forgot that this was gonna happen, so now I gotta make a, I gotta make a save state in my um, in my emergency slot. There we go. All right. Cliff, my dude, you gotta, you gotta shut up. What a bunch of pushovers! It'll be smooth sailing if they're all that easy. Still, keep alert. I know. Who do you think I am, anyway? Where is the other Crimson Blade spy? Capture her, you bumbling fools! We're sorry, my lord. We had her cornered, but you put up quite a fight. I ordered you to apprehend her, not admire her. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Sir Shelby! What is it? You've got the Crimson Blade spy? No, sir. A report. And a missive from Duke Vox. From the captain of the Dragon Brigade? Hmm. Give me your report first. Our sentries have spotted two suspicious men within the compound. Based on our intelligence, they might be the two escapees. Oh, we are. Hmm. So they've come to the rescue too. This is unexpected. I thought sending only one Crimson Blade was a bit light. The compassion of these followers of Apris is really playing into our hands. My uh, man, you... You are about to get your shit pushed. Find and capture them all. Do not fail me. Yes, my lord, and here, the missive.
Oh, they actually modeled the piece of paper. That's impressive. <laughs> what is it, Sir Shelby? <laughs> this is rich. It seems Albel will not be back for some time. Our captain? But why? Seems the captain of the Dragon Brigade has little love for our captain. Albel is being detained for a while. We're supposed to take care of things in the meantime. A lot of games today don't model paper. Yeah. I see. By capturing the two escapees before Sir Albel returns, my lord will get all the credit. With such accolades, you might even be promoted to captain yourself. Oh. Better hope Albel doesn't hear you planning that. Exactly. Our prey is now within our grasp. We must act quickly before he returns. Don't kill the escapees. They must be taken alive. Sir. Oh. That's awfully generous of them. They literally put a straight up healing point right at the start. Wow. That's real nice of you. Damn. All right, let's see here. Okay, where the hell's the Kuprite key, though? Oh, this guide annoys me. <laughs> Let me sorry, y'all. I'm just looking. I'm just looking real careful to sort of see something. Okay, it's on the third floor. Okay, so we basically got to find our way to the, to the third floor manually. We find our way to the third floor um, manually, and then we walk our way up from there. That was a heavy attack. Get yeah, fucked. He tried to hit me. Oops. And fuck that. What the fuck? Yo! I didn't even get to move! What you mean? Damn! Give me a break. Not good. <laughs> Whoa! Nice, we got a battle trophy. Love that. Oh. 
Well, that's annoying. When the dogs use that Shadow Tendril attack, um, the invul time afterward is too long for um, is too long for an anti-attack aura to hit. That's boo boo. I don't like that. Working on it, Clip. Shut up. Thank you for that free healing. All right, so we basically got to go inside the guts of the training facility and manually work our way up to the third floor um, and get the key there. And then we have to come back down here Suffering through that. Whoa! If he hadn't come through with that hammer, might I would have gotten hit, and that would have been no fun. I would have been upsetty about that. The XP is worth it. Fights take longer, but the XP is worth it. Okay. Hold up. I just realized. All right, y'all. We're not done. I'm just going to take a quick break because it's about that two-hour mark. So take a break, get up, stretch, shake it off, make sure that, you know, our necks don't get stiff up and everything. Um, I'll be back in like another five or ten minutes, maybe a little bit less. Just gonna finish eating this and kind of clean up the desk a little bit, then stretch. Uh, so yeah, get up, take a walk around the room real quick, kind of shake it out, stretch out your legs. Back in a little bit.
All right, I'll back in it. I sort of cleaned up my desk a little bit, but the most important thing is that I finished the fries so that I can just kind of lean in, sip this shake, kind of work our way through it. So yeah, basically we can't finish. We're not gonna try to map out the Kurosawa training facility because there's some there's some parts we can't get to. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, there are a lot of dungeon, like indoor dungeons in this game where you just literally can't, you can't finish them the first time you come through. So we're just gonna focus on, we're just gonna try to focus on getting up to the third floor as quickly as possible so that we can um, get the elevator key and be about our business. One thing that is very useful to know also while you're playing this game if you back at it again, a Krispy Kreme, yeah. A thing that is useful to know about this game, by the way, if you're playing it, um, there are some doors that are one way that you can only go through once and then they'll close on you. If you hear a, the door close behind you immediately after you go through a door, then it's a one way door. So, like, as you're playing this game, if you ever notice, like, oh, I heard a door close, like, oh, I went through a door, and it sounded like it closed all of a sudden, that bad? Um, if it, if the sound played immediately after you, um, if the sound played immediately after you went through the door, then yes, it's kind of a bad thing, insofar as, like, well, that's one way. I don't want to get by that. Yeah, one more battle, and we probably we'll probably level up for fate at least. Cliff is gonna still need a little more time because he he popped one more recently. Um, we don't want to go all the way around in a circle because there's there is a one way door on this floor, and if you go all the way around in a circle, you will wind up walking into it. But yeah, like you hear how that door didn't close behind us when we came through it? That means it's not one way. Ah, treasure chest. Cookie ingredients. That's the prize tool that will help us later. Yeah, so like, you see how we have this treasure chest over here, right? We could, yeah, like I can't reach that yet, and that's why when you first come to the Curl Saw training facility, don't like stress yourself out trying to um try to get map completion. Because there's just some spots you literally can't reach um the first time you're here. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing is that it looks like the the wolves that are here, they're not either. They, I think they're at least resistant to. I don't know if Hammer of Might has an element to it, but Blazing Sword definitely does. Given that like Blazing Sword doesn't do that much MP damage to them, I think they at least resist fire, which is not ideal. Um, there's nothing I can do about that right now, so. Um, I gotta hold that shit, more or less. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. I'll say this, though. 
Toy Sakuraba continues not miss. And here are the stairs up, second floor. Yeah, we need to make it to the third floor, basically. Um, in order to um, get the key to the elevator. And then after we get the key to the elevator, we gotta go downstairs. We have to go back downstairs to the first floor to take the elevator up to the third floor. on that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they're weak to fire. See those 64s and those 62s? We finally got it, yo. Gotta peel out. Pathfinder starting up. It's good hanging out. Good to see you, Mojo. I'll catch you later. Guess what we've got? The only bat the only battle skill you actually need in this goddamn game. Fucking sidekick, baby! Sidekick, baby! The reason why sidekick. Basically speaking, there are some battle skills that some characters have that are just so good that it's like, why would you want to put on anything else? For Fate, that's Sidekick. He evades swiftly and does a Sidekick. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're going to be basically hearing Sidekick, and is is that all you got? A lot. On, to on top of me occasionally like setting things on fire. I'm, I'm kind of sorry, but I'm also not sorry, because um, Sidekick is really good. He needs some blueberries. Scorching flames, grant me your power. Ah, damn it! I didn't want to. Didn't want to do that. Hang on. Send me a text message. What is this? Okay. Well, damn. I literally just walked face first into the next fight. Quite literally. It's just like, I'm just minding my business. Yeah, Psychic's really good. Psychic's really good.
I guess no guard is technically better for Cliff, but it, it takes up so much. Yeah, no guard is better. Does he have enough for another HP? Yes, he does! Look at my man. Look at my man. Cliff, Cliff Fitter is out here. Full up. From the floor up. My man, my man's just like, yeah, I lift. What about it? Like, yeah, I lift. What about it? Almost has 3k HP and isn't even level 20 yet. You love to see it. Here I go. Looks like an even match. It's a bullshit, though. I'll tell you that much. And that's why we give Cliff no guard. Because... Welcome back, Aleo. Uh, uh, I should be looking at the map to remember where the stairs are, but um, that's effort. Like, I'd have to like squint and actually read it and try to figure out what the fuck it's talking about, and I wasn't in the mood, so I'm just I'm just walking. He's just walking. Fuck. Those crits, though. Those lizard folk are worth good XP though, I'll tell you that much. 270 a pop? Yo, when we get Mel back, we're about to lift so many weights. Y'all, we about to be about to get fit. Build that muscle. I tried to sneak around that motherfucker and I couldn't do it. Yep. Uh, if they're busy fucking up clips, they're not paying attention to me. If they're not paying attention to me, that means I can do this. My, my man is just like, yo, listen. Awesome. Lightning Blast and no guard? I have no guard now. That's great. Except it's gonna eat up like five fucking... Yeah. Like, no guard is pretty good, but it's gonna like eat up the rest of my points. <laughs> I'll put it on though, sure. I, I don't need to fear death. It's fine. Gonna go Volkini, but yeah, you damn right. Muscle power. Real fight, take them on. Get out of my way. Electric fire. Blaze it, electric fire. Hammer out of my way. 
Yeah. The nice thing about having um the nice thing about having no guard is that basically, right? It will basically Yeah, electric fist is coming off of clear. Cause that shit that shit ain't doing shit. And hammer of might is be is basically better. But yeah, like the good thing about having no guard is that basically I can still die from weak attacks. Make no mistake. Like there's a very good chance that if I get hit by a weak attack or something, right? And I have low enough HP, I'll die. A hundred percent. Like But being able to ignore weak attacks and kind of just bully my way through anyway and be like, fuck you, it's my turn, it's useful, right? There, there are times where you'll want to do that. Working on a clip, shut up. I almost gave that man blackberries. Hammer of Might is doing is doing work, man. Like, damn. Your enemy before you like, man's is literally just like Hammer of Might, Hammer of Might. I gave it was him. I gave the Meta Center of Pyroxene, right? Yeah. So the main reason why I gave it to Cliff is mostly because, yeah, like, it's the only, it's not the only, I don't think it's the only item in this game that reduces battle skill HP use, but it's the only one that you get early, and given how fucking wide Hammer of Might hits, neglected text, but ooh, wait a minute, is that a new anti-attack aura? I think that's a new anti-attack aura, let's see. A A A. Homing. So, basically speaking, when you find textbook items in this game, just holding them will allow you to use um, different anti-attack auras. So, for example, we got stun, and now we have damage for the homing one. So I'm gonna try the homing one and leave Cliff with the stun one and see how that goes. I'm not sure if damage from an if a damage aura will actually, um... I don't know if damage from, um... From an anti-attack aura that does damage will actually kill an opponent. But if it does, it's good for me. Not that much. On. Sword on fire. There's a skeleton. There's a skeleton man over there. Oh, I <laughs> damn! I I just eat I needed that man straight up. Good old anti attack aura, right? Look. Let's just out here bullying. Vallejo <laughs> behaved. Just because you're right don't mean you gotta say it. Behave yourself. Alright, let's see here. 
Okay, yeah, we'll take first aid instead. So, the reason why we're taking first aid instead for Cliff is because chance of recovering 20% of maximum HP amount when damage is taken. So the main thing is that because Cliff has no guard, and he'll basically just be like going lol lamau, lol lamau, lol lamau anyway and taking damage, um, there's a very good chance that he will be able to level up first aid relatively quickly. Just by virtue of the fact that he's gonna just sit and face tank a bunch of shit. So... No reason not to give it to him. It'll be a little more useful than standby healing because he doesn't stand still. Motherfucker. Ah. I critical with the critical, and I didn't like that shit. Form blazing sword. No, not the horn wolf. Bogle. This Bogle leader over here, because it'll be easy, easy kill. Ah, come on. Go ahead, do it. And that's why Sidekick is really good. That's why Sidekick is really good. Because unlike Blade of Fury, it doesn't lock it doesn't lock you into something with like really high recovery time. It's very quick. It does a good set of hits. Let you get your hits and step back. Let you get your hits and step back. Overall, very good. Um, I love Sidekick. It's a really good move. And it's maybe like Sidekick and like Shotgun Blast. And even then Shotgun Blast is kind of iffy because of how long it takes. Sidekick and Shotgun Blast, if that, are mostly all you really need if you're like, I need battle skills for fate. Just just, just use Sidekick. Just, just, just use Sidekick. Just, just use Sidekick. Ah, here are the stairs to the third floor. And now we gotta find the kitchen. Up here. Once we find the kitchen, that will let us get the key. We go back. <coughs> we go back downstairs. After we find the kitchen. To the first floor. And then, um... For Gucci. Hey everybody! Guess what time? Hey everybody! It's everybody's favorite activity: bullying rich people. Hey base. Myth? Excuse me? Probably because I didn't have enough, um... Spare these nuts! Always bully rich people. Every single time. Without fail. Without... Without hesitation. Bully. Four rich people. Oh, okay. Yikes. Yikaroonies, we have the Hammer Knights. Why are there random rich dudes in this place that's supposed to be occupied? Video game magic. Yeah, doing base. Hopefully well. Okay. So, I didn't realize it, but 
Blazing Sword doesn't work on these motherfuckers. I'm like, let me do, let me just do some magic damage and get rid of them. No, that shit does not work. I, I attempted it. I just saw big fat zeros, and that is not, that's not a number that we like to see. Damn it. And we gotta finish this fight, because I didn't I didn't save state before it, so we gotta finish it or I'm gonna lose my um That tiny man really Yeah, I know. I agree, he's annoying. But um Oh, thank god, I can change my anti-attack aura. But my main concern is trying to deal with the knights first. So Sorry, you're gonna have to kind of put up with it for a second. Nope, 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 I don't want to use Blazing Sword. Fuck! Like, the Voltron tactic doesn't work on the fucking knife, so that's why I don't want to use Blazing Sword. Like, Blazing Sword is not useful here because they resist fire. So I do no MP damage at all, and that's... not good. Whoop! Yeet! Wow, those shockwaves go really far. There is this Earth too, it looks like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Hammer of Might is an Earth. There we go. One down. Alright, let's see. Alright. Back to our regularly, regularly scheduled bullying of the rich people. Yeah. I, I know it took me a minute to get to him, but like literally the knights were more the knights were literally more important. Like if I tried to fuck around and not pay any attention to them, I would have got my shit pushed. And um no. Whoa. If you saw that big green, that number right there, that 560, that was Clip, that was Clip literally getting hit. That was Clip getting hit and then first aid proccing and him getting back like 560 HP. That's why I gave him that because literally if that shit procs enough, like mans will be taking like all kinds of shit straight to the dome and be like, I can feel nothing. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought I was gonna get... Ah, uh, damn. I thought I was gonna get Fury back up in time to parry that. So yeah, basically the reason why I'm going out of my way to try to make sure that I can parry all those Hammer Quakes is that, um... I'm not sure if y'all have noticed, but basically... When I hit a stunned opponent, I get a, a, I get a crit guaranteed. So... Part of why just even having the stun aura is really good is because it lets you um, lets you sort of set up with impunity these kinds of things, right? Easy bake. All right. The regularly scheduled rich people bullying. Hit that man with the fucking guile flash kick. Y'all see that shit? You love it. I was just like, flash kick! Alright. I gotta restroom again real quick, sorry. I think the soda's catching up with me. Restroom real quick, I'll be right back. Yeah, like the main reason. So yeah, the reason why I'm I, I play it so passively against um, the Hammer Bros and Joes over there is mostly because um, being able to trade off of stuns and like basically fuck their shit up that way is kind of the most important part of all this. But we have people up here, huh? I'm gonna move down another slot. I think we can at least finish the training facility. And if we're lucky, we might be able to make it to like fraternity before stream's over. Who are you? What is this place? It's as plain as the nose on your face. It's a kitchen. You're fixing for a fight. You're wasting your time here. We're here to save our friends. We don't intend to harm you. Hmph. <laughs> I wonder. Alright. What a dashing fellow. Hmm? What do you want? Oh yes! I saw someone heading for the rooftop earlier. You'll need this key. Please take it. Sure I can have it? By all means. Please come again. So yeah. Now that we've got the Cooprite key, basically speaking, we 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 make a run we make a run down to the first floor. And go up the ele go up the elevator there, and then we're good to go. Buckles. Oh, that's a flimsy. I mean, hey, I'm. I mean, look. It's a lady thinks fate has it like that, and it's just like, yo, have this, please. I insist. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. I'm just saying. We, we take those.
aquí. Bitch, dude. I, I kind of need you to shut. All right. Now you're getting on my nerves. Now you're getting on my nerves. Okay, cool. Cliff, Cliff got the other one. There we go. Know your enemy before you strike the first blow. Yeah, Cliff, we know. Picking ingredients. Ooh. Alright. Down here. I think there should be a way back out to the outer ring of this floor. And it's probably not this way. Damn. Those men were ready to swing. Just heal you? Bro. Bro, Sif, what are you doing? Ah, shit. Wow, that was unfortunate. That was badly timed. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Y'all gotta chill out with that shit. That has a hitbox on the back of the hammer? Excuse me? I blocked it, that's why I'm not- I'm not more upset. But that- Hammer Quake has a hitbox when they swing the hammer back. Yo, that's fucked up. I don't like that at all. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Y'all can't be doing that. Compounding elixirs. That's good. Need those for potion making later. Alright. Let's... Okay. I'm just gonna... Try to duck past the... The armor... The armor motherfucker that's up here. Oh, fuck. Shit! Shit! I tried to load the save state and I saved it instead. God damn it. Holding. Oh, 
Heat. Good thing we're so close to the kitchen because I can go right back in there and heal and then try to get down out of here. Ah, damn. I always wondered if I'd be stuck working here in this boring place forever. But it seems interesting things could happen here too. Youth today, honestly. Can't they at least keep their own home clean? Like, well... Listen, keeping a clean house is hard work, damn it. Well, at least Cliff is getting crits. Got rid of that. Got rid of that motherfucker. Stunned. Fuck! <laughs> ah, wow. Ah. Alright. I was gonna try to go southward and around, but let's just go back the way that we came because at least I'm not trying to walk around longer. This game took. How obnoxious rich people are and boiled it down to like a sound file. Damn. Yo, sometimes... Sometimes JRPGs just hit with social justice awareness. It's just one of those things, you know? You know, it never occurred to me that Fate and Co. basically walked in here and slaughtered many soldiers. Yeah. From a, from a certain point of view, that's basically factual. Also, hey Anaki, welcome back in. Good to see you. How you doing today? Now there's no shortcut. I actually have to. I was like, I can see, I can see the floor below. Does this mean I can drop off? It's like, no, you have to actually walk back there. You like, stop being lazy. You have to actually walk back over. Aim. And bones and bones and bones and bones and bones go rise again. Just him. On the other hand, I know where the stairs are, so I just need to quit fucking around and just go over there, I guess. Whoa! Whoa! Yo, my mans, you can't be running up on me like that. That's the how. That's how, like, you get swung on. Calm down with that shit. Okay, let's see. Downstairs up here. And now I just gotta remember which side of the floor the elevator's on. Okay, let me look at this guide. Because I was about to not look at the guide and just be stubborn, but... Elevator is in the north... It's on the northeast corner of the floor. Bet. Okay. So... All right. I think we can go back toward the entrance and get healed. 
and then make our way back around, and it shouldn't be too far out of the way, I think. Or I could be misremembering which way the entrance is, and so I can't actually be fucked. Let's just go. Let's just go. It'll be fine. Yeah. Basically, once... I think once I get another elemental thing, I could probably deal with those wolves way easier. Over there. Over there. Oh hey! It's Nell. This is bad. They've got a corner. We've gotta help. Let's do it. Fate. Cliff. What are you doing here? That can wait until later. We're here to help. Okay, oh, shower will be back in a few. Bet. Oh. Nell Nell needs levels. Nell needs levels. Bad. Motherfucker! You absolute bastards. Damn. Salty. I'm salty. I'm salty. I literally had that shit in the bag. And then I got hit with the gauge break. We love that shit. Alright. It is not an even match. Literally. Like my brother in Apris. The, <laughs> the bonus battle gates are starting out at a 20% rate. That is not an even match, my man. And match my black ass. Fuck out of here. Why did you come? If you'd gone to Aquios, you would have been free. Damn right. We know. Claire told us. So why then? Nell, weren't you charged with bringing us to Aquios? How could you neglect your duty? I. Yeah, what he said. Besides, I didn't appreciate the fact you left without saying goodbye. <laughs> Cliff. Cliff. We'll give you a piece of our minds later. Let's rescue Tynave and Farlene first. These two knuckleheads really said you thought you were going to run off and go do whatever. Us, we won't even break a sweat. Thanks, guys. All right. Now that I've actually equipped Nell correctly, also with a clone generator. Oh wow. Um. Damn. My sister and Apris, you are seven levels behind. Oh god. I might have been grinding a little. I might have gotten a little too swole. I might be. I could use the key that girl gave me. I, I might be a little too swole, y'all. I, I I might have I might have gone too too deep into the world of pure muscle. I mean it's fine. We can just spend maybe we need to have to burn some time. Either I may have to do it off stream or we may burn some time on the way back. Or if I can manage to get through this next upcoming boss fight without getting my shit pushed in, now we'll probably have a drastic jump in level. Also, sorry y'all, Farlene alert. Farlene is a very nice young lady, but the direction that, that her voice actress got, 
was not very good. Tynave, Varlene, we're here to help. Uh, uh, what? What are you doing here? We'll get you out of here. No, run! It's a trap. Yeah. She's right. They're hiding behind those pillars. Or a blazing sword. Yeah. Like, they did Farlene. They did Farlene dirty. And it, it's especially kind of galling because Farlene in particular, like the way that they talk about her character in game like she is not like she's not as spacey as her voice sounds the way that they talk about her character in game and in the dictionary they're like no she's actually very sharp headed and very astute but thank you so much i'm okay the pain's not too bad you faced incredible danger to rescue us you should not have come Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. If you're going to thank anyone, thank them. Yeah, just like Anaki said, legendary. Forget about it. It was nothing. Our pleasure. But we better get moving. Nah, we're not getting out that easy. Our work is done here. Good riddance to this hellhole. Now you wish, man. If it, if only it were that easy. Y'all y'all know it couldn't be that easy. Getting some Paimon, but I mean, I know people have feelings about um, the way that Paimon's English voice is directed in particular. I get it. I get it. I guess being a jam main, um, being a jam main kind of um, inures you to certain things, and it's just like, eh, yeah. You're like, eh, not the best, but I've heard worse. At this point, so is more. Yo, I don't even want to talk about. Not because I'm like upset about Morbius, but like. Something's coming. Can you imagine how much of a sucker you have to be? And it's white people shit, you can tell. Imagine how much of a sucker you must have to be for your movie to fail, to have people literally start turning into a meme and then go, clearly this meme means that people must actually like the movie. It's like, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love Karina Bojic's performance of Paimon. Yeah. Like, my siblings in Africa, I don't know how to explain to you that when people are on the internet memeing your goddamn movie, not, not every meme is a dream. Yeah, I can feel the hair standing they did. They really did. They really thought, yeah, let's bring it back to theaters. And it, and it did even worse. So... Wow. Just that sounds a bit yep. So what if we are? Surrender peacefully, and I shall spare your life. Who the heck are you? I am Shelby, Lieutenant of the Black Brigade. Soon to be captured by the looks of things. You should curse your luck for falling into my hands. <laughs> you think? After all that, now we have to fight Shelby? Is it no, the the more the Morbin so the Morbin time things were before the rescreening. It's because of people talking about Morbin and all that other stuff that they thought, oh, clearly this means that people really love the movie. And so then they rescreened it because of the proliferation of Morbin memes, and then apparently, according to some people, the meme is already dead. But um shrug. Yeah. He's the Black Brigade's second in command. They didn't leave him here for nothing. I can see that. 
He looks way too powerful to be some watchdog. Not like the last bunch. Yeah, but Sin said basically. Of course, we'll only spare the two men. The women may die. It's not very cash money, V. Shelby. Over my dead body. Called sexism, my dude. Yes. Now, come quietly. I'll give you quiet, and you kill me. Ha! You will regret those words. Not before you do. Tiny, Farleen, you two stand back. Here he comes. So basically, our priority is we gotta make sure that Nell doesn't die, or at least is alive by the time the fight is over, because the XP jump that she's gonna get will be worth it, but she has to, like, not die. Okay. And that was her, um, that was her clone generator that popped. So unfortunately, Shelby has too much MP to like MP kill. He's out here hitting Nell for like a ninth of her HP. That's. We don't like that. Yeah, you could have been. But... You're white. So... Oops to you, I get. I really thought they were gonna be worth more XP. I really did. I did all that shit for 175. The fuck? Huh. He wasn't as tough as his talk. That's an understatement. Oh shit. I said good day, Shelby. But I said good day. Yo, hold the fuck up. Who did? Who that? Over here. Another one? Oh hey, culinary. It's your favorite. So this is what Shelby was up to. How pathetic! Always strutting, preening his feathers, but to lose to the likes of you. <laughs> Once a maggot himself. Now he's food for the maggots. Happy Pride, everybody. That gauntlet. Your Albel Knox. So, you've heard of me. Oh, Xenosaga? Xenosaga Albedo? Or... Um... Or Genshin Albedo. Oh, okay, Xenosaga Albedo. Okay, cool. Who the heck is he? He's the best swordsman in all of Eriglyph and the captain of the Black Brigade. Better known as Albel the Wicked. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna smack that cocky look off your face. Bah, the maggot talks big. You might have some potential, but you're no match for me. Coo X is on tour here, it seems. Cooch is on the line. He wants his drip back. <laughs> I'm not interested in fighting a bunch of tired fools. Easy wins have never been my style. And unlike Vox, I take no joy in trouncing weaklings. Abel is such a pansy. Mm. Who are you calling a weakling? Go back to your own lands. This is your only warning, fools. Come down here and say that! You're gonna let us slip away? That's pretty nice for a guy like you. Don't get me wrong. I just can't be bothered. And taking hostages isn't the way I do business. 
What do you call this then? Those maggots did this without my consent. I knew nothing about it. Besides, your escape is his blunder. I've no obligation to clean up his mess. Typical supervisor. But he was your subordinate. You have to take responsibility for his actions. I tire of your lectures, fool. Now leave, or I will kill you. Red 13 would like there. What? You gotta be kidding me. He acts like he's doing us a favor. Well, I'm relieved to tell you the truth. It would have been foolish to face him in our current condition. Let's hurry up and get back. I'm sure everyone's worried about us. Yes, let's go. Wow, I really thought that Shelby was going to give me a chunk, a good chunk of XP. Abo would have been foolish to face us. He's nothing. Yo. Like. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. I would be talking that good shit if this was galaxy mode. I would absolutely be like, yeah, sure. But in universe mode, I put nothing past no, I put nothing past nobody. And that's all I got to say about that. Galaxy mode, though, if I was still playing Galaxy mode, I would absolutely just say, nah, this man ain't shit. And I would and I would beat that ass twice and three times for Sunday. But like, nah. I'm not I'm not that bold. I'm not that bold at this point in time right now, the way that I'm set up right now. Nah. I think by the time I fight him, if I have Orichalcum, then yeah. He's going to be a fucking joke, but that depends on whether or not I have that by the time I actually get to him. If I do, that's great. If I don't... Eh. Eh. And I'm going to leave it at that. This is a one-way door, right? So you heard, you heard how it closed right after we left, that's a one-way door. But we still got, still got a bit of time. So, probably gonna go fuck around in the Grana Hills for a little bit. And probably fight some, we're gonna probably be fighting our way back a bunch between both um, Pearlsa and Arius because Nell needs levels. Nell, need, Nell needs levels badly. Yeah, Nell, Nell needs that XP. Looks like an even match. Good thing is that now that Cliff has Hammer of Might. We're generally in a good position, because as y'all can see, Hammer of Might is like no joke. That shit. Um, very big splash radius, very big damage. Yeah, big splash typically ignores agility. Does MP damage. Yeah, it's not as helpful against enemies that resist, I think, Earth, is it? Because we definitely had those, um... Those big armors in the training facility take, like, fire? Okay. Okay. So then, that makes sense. Because it was like, hey, those enemies in the training facility, the big armored dudes are like... The big empty armors are like, lol, that shit doesn't do damage. <laughs> and it's like, okay, um. 
I wasn't gonna take it off because spear, trying to get Spear of Might to work is um not not my idea of a fun time. Excellent. That's bullshit. I ran into them from the front. I disagree with that bullshit. Fuck out of here with that. Set up. Let's. I don't have any other support things yet. Doesn't have that either. Oh yeah, we got a long road ahead of us. I'm gonna just fight whatever's in the way on the way back, as opposed to seeking out things on purpose. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're gonna make it to fraternity tonight at least, which is good. Because that's like one city away from Arius, give or take. And there are no other major dungeons, I think, till we get there. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so we do need to stop and see another private action right here, though. Yeah, let's just stop at the inn, and then we're going to go see the private action there. This private action, so private actions, for people who are new to the stream, are basically like little events that you can see and experience that will um, influence the way that your party members feel toward you. The main thing that it's primarily used for is um, trying to influence which person fate has an ending with. Um, Last time we had Sophia, this time I wanted to do somebody else. Still, I never thought you guys would end up helping me. You guys are supposed to be indebted to me. Funny how things go sometimes, huh? I suppose. Of course, I was thinking we should have made a run for it. But this guy wouldn't hear of it. I see. You may think it's strange for me to say this after you helped me, but I think Cliff is right. Whether you want to cooperate or not, there isn't a whole lot you had to gain from helping Aquaria. No. The truth is, you have absolutely nothing to gain if you consider the time you'll lose and the danger you'll face. But agree you did. Why? Why? Well, you know... You can't expect us to abandon you. Did you really think we could do that, knowing you'd be killed? Listen to me, Fate. I only saved you two because I thought you could help save the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. And the reason why I picked that particular answer, even though Nell is like... Even though Nell is going like, you really thought that, you know... You really thought that would, like, allow that? It's the option that basically gets mostly everybody... Um, it, it basically influences mostly everybody else to be like, yeah, okay, you're pretty chill. I think I know whose ending you might be aiming for. Yeah, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it a secret. Um, there was a guide on GameFAQ that specified how I was supposed to do the one that I want. But when I looked at it, it involved picking up characters that I don't want to use, so I'm winging it, basically. That's why I risked my life and infiltrated Eric's castle to save you. Putting your lives in danger just to save one person is absolutely pointless. On one hand, you have the life of one person, and on the other, the fate of an entire kingdom and all its people. It's a very simple choice. Even a child would know which was more important. You cannot place a value on human life. 
Ending a life that can be saved is wrong, no matter how you look at it. Life is too precious to reduce it down to your two simple choices. Ideally, that would be so. But we are at war. It's just not possible to save everyone who needs saving. My only choice is to do my best to help as many people as possible by ending the war. Then let me ask you this now. Do you plan on teaching that to your children too? Will you tell them to abandon somebody they can help in order to save even more people? Yo, we're hitting those fake Fate Stay Night vibes. That's... Alright already. I understand what you're saying. Both of you, that is. Logically speaking, you should try to save as many people as possible. I agree with that, but I also agree that each life should be treated equally. The fact is, it all depends on the circumstances at the time and the person who has to make the decision. I guess you could say it is the most difficult choice you could make. You don't have to agree with me. There really is no other way. Yeah, really. It gives me the willies just thinking about those guys standing around tallying up people's lives like some bean counters. But there's something to what Nell said. Don't forget it. Helping someone always means sacrificing someone else. That's just the way of war. I have chosen to protect the people of my own kingdom, even if that means sacrificing my own life. This got way heavier than I wanted. Let's do some ladder climbing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ladder climbing. <laughs> Yeah, we'll stay, because nice and cheap. Oh right, I can go sell I can go sell some of this stuff I've been picking up now, finally. Um I s <laughs> ah. Um Medusa culinary. I was laughing at Basis joke. It's a it's a snake eater reference. And culinary Medusa, um, but that's just because. Um, okay, let me put it like this: Saber is absolutely super cool, and I think she's a super cool character, and I respect Saber a lot. But if we're talking about my favorite servant in Fate, um, Stay Night, Fate Stay Night, um, Rider, yeah. Uh, sell one. Sell. I don't need the jewel of avarice, and I don't need the jewel of refuge either. Stopping enemy movements for a short period of time. No. I like Rin, but I guess she doesn't count as. I mean, we were just talking like in general, but. Also, welcome back. Dinner. Hopefully, it was hopefully it was tasty. Uh, all right. So, let's see. Uh, shit, which way we came from down there? Going up that way, back through there. We want to leave this way. Right. Storm Brigade, one of the three famed forces of Eric that is stationed here at this mansion. Right. Can't do anything there. Alright, so we just gotta run back through the Kursa Hills. Piece of shit. Oh, 
Ah, uh, do they resist fire? That's annoying. Got him, got him with the, got him with the happy feet. Wombo combo. All right. Ah, oh, god damn it. Tried getting into the Fate series, but by the time I did, started to get Dissolution of in general bounced off of it. Fair. Oh, we got a freeze, baby! Yeah! I was gonna say... Yeah, basically the long and short of it is that if you're gonna... It depends on which one you would have been watching. Because if you were trying to... If you're watching the one that, like, Studio Dean did in, like, 2003 or so... Not a good representation of it. Um, UFO, ta uh, UFO tables, um, unlimited blade works anime. Not the, not the movie, but the actual anime series is pretty good. The big CG dragon one. Yeah, I seen Studio Deans that might be that one but um yeah the basic way of putting it is that um big CG dragon might have been Studio Dean but I haven't actually seen that one so I don't know for sure um I didn't watch it because it is not a good adaptation of the actual fate route from the visual novel um yeah the VN is the visual novel is pretty good um If you can actually dig up a translation, and more importantly, if you get like the version of it that incorporates the um, that incorporates the changes from the console versions, probably the best way to probably the best way to read it. Let me quit fucking around and actually get us to Paterni, because, um... I think I played Mirror Moon's translation of it, it was fine. Yeah, the main reason why I recommend, like, the Vialta Nua one is because... For people who don't... I'm gonna put it like this. Um... I wrote a guide, or a Google Doc, I guess, about... So you want to get into Fate, and I did, like, a non-exhaustive thing. The main thing is mostly that if you don't want to have to deal with reading... Um, the way that Nasu writes sex scenes, um, you want to get the Rialta Nua version because being the PS2 version, it would have removed that content. And generally speaking, thankfully, yo, I haven't read one, but I know it's legendary. Um, I'm thinking of a line from Tsukihime in particular, um, that may have just been an overly literal translation, but I'm thinking about it right now. And I'm just like, oh my god. You are right. Yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry to have worried you. Where is Claire? She's at headquarters. She was worried. She'll want to see that you're back. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, so yeah. Like, if you read, basically, if you read, like, the, if you read, like, the, um, R18 version of, of Bait Stay Night, you're gonna be in for a trip. So, like, I generally recommend, for, so, generally speaking, from a quality standpoint, I'm like, you might as well really just read, you might as well just get, like, the version of it that has all the Rialto Nua content patched in, because then you get voice acting. You don't have to read awkward sex scenes, and everybody wins. Sorry to keep you. Oh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not making noises about the mana transfer. I'm making noises about this. Um. Platonic, platonic friendship is truly a wonderful thing. And you two are safe as well. Mm -hmm. I want to thank both of you. I fear they wouldn't have made it back safely to us had you not gone to help. Don't mention it. We didn't do much. It was mainly small fry. Don't sell yourself short. And we were able to defeat the second in command of the Black Brigade thanks to your help. It's so unfortunate. Ambiguously platonic if you ask something. Yes. Um. In what fandom exists for Star I'm saying that as if there isn't one. Yeah, I think as far as this game is concerned, people would absolutely like ride or die for a no Claire ship. And they've known each other long enough that you could argue that. You defeated Shelby of the Black Brigade? Correct. I can't believe it. Yeah, but that show off in shining armor is still cruising for a bruising. Oh, you mean that Albel guy? Just since I was a teen. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. He won't get away so easily next time I run into him. Albel? You can't mean Albel the Wicked. Amazing, isn't it? Frankly, I'm surprised we made it home in one piece. I can check who Claire's voice actress is. Let me go check that actually. Uh, here. Like, I never believed in my life that Nell was straight. You know, that's, that's also fair. Okay, Leah Sargent. Hmm. But yeah, I have a thing that I want to talk about with Claire, but I it has to wait for a little bit because um, it would theoretically involve spoilers about a thing that gets on my nerves. So we gotta hold, we gotta hold, we gotta hold off on it for a little bit for people who haven't um, who haven't played this game. But I think about it, and it makes me want to fight. Is he really that strong? Be clear, it's nothing that she did, but it's something that the developers chose to do, and I um I have very strong feelings about it. Indeed. I'm sorry, Cliff, but I'm not sure even you could beat him. Ugh, I've heard enough of this. <sighs> all right, enough talk. You must all be very tired. Anaki might be picking up what I'm putting down. I'll have them prepare dinner. It won't take long. They are making it to paternity tonight. We may have to go a little bit over, but we're going. We're, we're going to stop at paternity. No way, we're not stopping so, at paternity. You won't help us after all. I'm still thinking about it. The whole prospect of making a weapon doesn't sit well with me. Remember, fate is 19 years old. And more or less, Nell is like trying to get him to basically do war, en to do, um, war engineering. Uh, 
He has every right to be like, ah, I don't like this. I see. Well, you don't have to answer immediately. I'm bouncing it so often. The scene I always remember. Yo, if at some point Square Enix could pull their shit together and like give this game a proper remake, I'd be so happy. But they treat this game the way that Capcom, at least up until recently, treats Street Fighter 3. Okay, so Street Fighter 3, I saw a thing where purportedly it's like, well, you know, the characters from there are like really polarizing and that's why they don't show up in a lot of stuff. Like, the way that Street Fighter 3 basically had Capcom initially be like, we're not advancing the timeline past Street Fighter 3. And the way they kept just shying away from it for so long, it's the same way that they were doing that, that Square Enix treats this game. Because basically every other game in the Star Ocean series after this one, except for maybe the Divine Force, and we don't know yet, has taken place before this game. I don't remember the exact dates for Star Ocean 1 and 2, but Star Ocean 3 is in Space Date 772. Star Ocean 4 is literally before the start of the Space Date calendar, or right at the start of it, if that. And then Star Ocean 5 is closer in the future, not past second story, I don't think, or even first, or even first contact, or sorry, um, the first or second game, but it's still not past till the end of time. Like they have not made a Star Ocean game that takes place post till the end of time. I don't know where Anamnesis falls in that because I don't play it, but maybe I should considering that they fixed the thing that I was pissed about by. <laughs> If you can decide by the time we reach the royal uh. city, that will be soon enough. Claire, I think I'll ride with them all the way to Aquios after all. Oh, wait. They actually made Anamnesis take place past Space State 772? They actually did it? In a mobile... Square Enix, why so fucking trifling? Why? Why y'all like this? Is that okay with you, Fade? I mean, the premise is basically pulling fair. It's okay. Isn't that your mission? It makes sense. Yeah, when you put it that way, it does make yeah, sense. It is. But I want a fucking mainline game that takes place. If Street Fighter Six is probably. Finally advancing the timeline past third fucking strike. If Capcom can do it, Square Enix can do it. I'm waiting. Like, be bold, you motherfuckers. Do it. First, we'll head to a town called Paterni in the northeast. After we've obtained supplies there, we'll head to Aquios. Okay, understood. Got you. I'll be back. All right. See you soon. Everyone, please be careful. You guys too. We'll be just fine. Yes. Take care of Nell for us, please. May Apris May the grace of Apris be with you. Ah, uh, uh, Farlene! No! <laughs> uh, my sister and Apris, why? Why did they do this girl so bad? Why? For what reason? This hurts. <laughs> this hurts so much. They have to do this girl like this though. They really didn't. They have to do it. They have to do it to her. And they did. And I hate that. Alright, we're gonna get map completion on the Palmyra Plains and use this opportunity to like grind now up some, and then we're gonna step foot in Paterni and let that be where we leave off. But, like, we're gonna stop in Paterni. They should have made her play- Mmm. Mmm. I'm- I know the, ra the the rant that I have saved up isn't about- isn't about Farlene, but- Ooh. It's so close to the thing that I- that I was- that I am irritated about. I gotta hold that shit, but ooh, Lord.
probably not next Sunday, but probably by the time we hit Sunday after next is when we'll finally be able to then I'll finally be able to talk about it without giving away spoilers. Okay. 240? Yeah, these these enemies are better. Yeah, Paterni is really close. The Palmyra Plains is not a very big map. Um, it's pretty small, thankfully. So, of course, we're going to get completion because, um, money. I desire money. Motherfucker. That would have been so bad if I'd hit F1. If I hit F1, I literally would have just closed the stream without saying a word. I would have just been gone, y'all. And I'm sorry, but I would have just been like, nope, I'm done. And I would have just been gone. Y'all wouldn't have seen hide or hair of me. I would have just been like, stream's over. Y'all go somewhere, go find somewhere else to go hang out on your own. I would have been. The salting would have been beyond legendary. I would have been so upset. Like, imagine that. Like, a full-ass chain of 118, and I- and just because I fumble my fingers, it ends. I would have been- that was easy. Like, the way, literally, the rest of my hairline would have receded on the spot. The way that I literally would have been- Exactly. Just straight up like, yo, y'all don't have to go home, but y'all have to- Y'all don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, and I ain't in the mood for none of this. Like, y'all go find somebody else to go hang out with on your own. My sister and Apris, you need to be- Oh, we got a freeze! I love it. So, for context, right? When you freeze an enemy in this game, um, if you hit them while they're frozen, they break, and then they die. Hate them point. And that's why Ice Needles is a pretty good is a pretty good symbological spell, because, um... In this house, we do, in fact, enjoy instant death. And yeah, one of the things that I kind of want to sort of reinforce... I'm going to put on Game Designer hat for a second, because I realize that I've just been sitting here talking. The gotcha takes two years... Oh! Cowards! 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 I know the actual reason why they won't advance the timeline past this game, and it's mostly just because of the ending. Like with the way that it ended, I'm gonna put it like this. I don't find the ending of this game to be particularly troublesome personally. Um, I don't dislike it, and from a certain perspective, um, from a certain perspective, and I don't mean like the Jedi certain perspective necessarily, but just thinking about it in terms of like, kind of like narrative structures and things like that. Ultimately speaking, right? With the way that 
I can't discuss it until we get closer to the end. Because I'm gonna if I for people that haven't played this game or haven't seen the first or weren't here for the original stream, I'll be spoiling stuff that I don't want to spoil for people who want to experience it fresh. Scorching flames, grant me your power. Yeah, I'm hoping Star Ocean 6 takes place afterward, too. Because honestly speaking, right, like, with the way that this game ends, you could theoretically say that it's like, it wasn't very open-ended for sequel stuff, except, well, given the nature of RPGs, um, yeah. I was hoping we got a freeze. That would have been helpful here. Yeah, like basically speaking, as much as some people might think that the ending of this game doesn't leave much room for things to happen past it, I disagree very strongly. Extremely strongly, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. Like, basically, the people that were here for when I streamed it all those years ago kind of know what I'm getting at. And unfortunately, like, my archives for the first time I went through it are kind of incomplete. Or I'd be like, for people who really want to see it and want to get an idea of what we're in for, you could go watch the archives. But I'm missing, there's a whole bunch of episodes missing from when I did it the first time because um, I didn't know how to make sure... I, I didn't have as good a handle on making sure that I archive my streams as I did, uh, as I do now. So, um, there's stuff missing from the, from the run that's on, um, I don't remember because brain goes blue. That's also fair. You motherfucker. Keep sting this dick. Flash kick. Thousand battles. All right. Now we cook it. I remember other things from your first run, but not the ending. Yeah, the ending's a trip. Is all I really have to say. Dumb soul. Dumb soul. Kaboom. Oh, I, I do have the rips for CBS too. Actually, I should make those into sound. I should make those into sound. It's sound effects. Yeah, the problem with this game is mostly just infamy. People kind of want to keep the stigma behind the plot alive, even though game... Yeah, like... Yeah, like, by comparison, right? Like, the ending to this game, by comparison to some of the shit that I've been through now, is, is like, literal mild shit. Easiest money I ever made. Easy. 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 Can't stubby. Alright, let's go into Paterni. How much time do we have left? We have like another nine minutes.
go into paternity, do a couple of light things, and then and then be outy. So this is paternity. This town has a totally different feel to it from Arius. Yes. That's because this town is closer to the sacred royal city of Aquios. Plus, it borders on the Republic of Sanmont and is therefore a center of commerce. Makes sense. No wonder it's so lively. I have to attend to some business. You can do what you will until I get back. We'll meet. We'll meet in the central plaza. Alrighty. Go to the plaza when you're. I'm going to try to avoid okay. advancing the plot. Got it. Um, because this game, you know this game, it loves its cutscenes. So. I really don't have anything in particular to do. I think I'll just go kill some time. Meet up later. Superior weapons corrupt the minds of the inexperienced. Overestimate their own ability. Only the most valiant warriors are worthy of wielding the weapons I make. Yeah, whatever, nerd. Didn't like this place as song as a child, but I listen to it on loop whenever I do the OST in the background. Mm hmm Lively Step, I think, is the theme. I think it's called. I'm currently patrolling the town. Please let me know if you come across any problems. Damn it! This must be the central plaza where we're supposed to meet. I didn't mean to advance the plot. Hmm, what should I do now? Nope. Walk around the town some more. Fuck that. Y'all trying to railroad me into plot? Fuck out of here with that shit. Daga motherfucking Koto water. Nah. Thanks to the war, my weapons are settling down my wildest dreams. It's really worth coming all the way here from the Kingdom of Greeton to peddle my wares. Fate gets lost in an alley and is never seen again. <laughs> Where the hell is this place I'm looking for? Well, not the outfitter. Should have everybody here, but I, it's not what I'm looking for. Come on, Brain. Where are you going? Okay, we, that's the outfitter. One of these two goddamn houses. One of these two. Not this one. Okay, it's across the street. Yeah, I think here it is. This is the headquarters of the Craftsman's Guild. You must register here before you can invent items. Hell yeah! If you want to make a fortune quickly, then inventing is a job for you. Yep. I am. Really? Uh, allow me to introduce myself. The name is Welch Vineyard. I'm the Craftsman Guild's receptionist, the Guild Master's secretary, and the liaison between inventors all around the world. Wow. Must be hard having three jobs at once. Yeah. That old Welch! Oh, you betcha. And they don't pay me much either. But not many people want to be inventors these days. I have a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> Being an inventor used to be everyone's dream job. Uh, just a moment. I gotta go look up the invention calculator again now. God damn it. I'll go get the guild master. So you want to be an inventor? Yeah, so it seems. So it seems. You probably know this, but 
Art Guild is a gigantic commercial organization supported by the government that distributes products and registers patents for inventions, all in the name of the advancement of civilization on this continent. I never understood why that cutscene backs out like three times. Like I need to be... Yeah. Is it supposed to be fate blinking or something? I don't know. It's weird. We're the biggest guild in the industry. Well, now that Nanix and Drace are bankrupt. We give free reign to youngsters with a sense of vision. Welch, give that to him. There you go. It's a compact communicator. Wow, it even has a monitor. Hate doing that white guy blinking me. Of note, this is a weird thing, by the way. We're... This planet is literally the equivalent of, like, the 1500s or some shit. Why the fuck does she have a compact communicator? Correct. Now that you have this, you can contact us no matter how far away you are. I work as a liaison through those devices. You can easily gather information about new items on store shelves, search patent registration reports, and even file patents of your own through the compact communicator. Select invention information from the cap menu. That's all there is to it. If you want to work on an invention, you can use any workshop you want in any town. With some restrictions. You can expand workshops too. Of course, that will come out of your own pocket. <laughs> Said restrictions. Probably from Greeton? Yeah. Theoretically. Paterni's workshop is to the northwest of the Craftsman's Guild right across from us but that workshop's a mess so you'll want to expand its facilities before you do anything else hmm okay here's your seed money a thousand full okay you can only invent items when you are inside a workshop i'll say it one more time paterni's workshop is all run down and doesn't have anything be sure to use the expand facilities command if you repeatedly expand facilities You'll be able to create all sorts of things in a single workshop. After you invent an item, go to Invention Information in the camp menu and report it. Dictionary entry for Greeton is super fascinating though. Too bad it's not an area you can get to in the game. That should be all you need to know. Work hard yeah. and you're sure to become a famous inventor, known far and wide throughout the land. Alright, I'll show you to the workshop. Follow me, please. This is the workshop. The front desk is usually the area near the front of the workshop where there are all sorts of documents scattered about. Go there whenever you want to invent something. Do you have any other questions? Well, that's it for me. Remember to start by using... Uh-huh. So, basically, to go over it in short... To go over it in, like, very brief terms, right? Basically speaking, every workshop has certain facilities in it, right? If your workshop is missing a particular set of facilities, you need to be able you need to actually spend money to expand them. We're gonna just do three. We're gonna make sure that we do lines first so that we can invent things in parallel. So, the main thing is that you have to expand the workshop facilities to do different types of do different types of inventing. And once you've done that, you basically assign three inventors to a line and tell them to come up with something. And you give them a certain amount of money to invent with. And they basically have to spend a period of time over time trying to come up with or reproduce whatever product it is that you want. Basically speaking though, every character that you can recruit to your main party has a different set of skills for inventing. And different characters, both that you can recruit for your party, as well as that you can recruit as inventors, have different um, knowledge bases. 
So, um, and NPCs are usually limited to only one type of invention, but certain NPCs know how to make things that certain other NPCs don't. Your party members, on the other hand, have multiple skill sets and can and can basically make multiple things, but every party member has different levels of skill in each of those things. Like Fate and Cliff are both very good engineers, for example. No, not so much. Like case in point, right? So yeah, like Fate, as far as things go, engineering is decent, but he's best at compounding and writing. Those are things that he understands very well. With three, he can do okay at. Cliff, on the other hand, is an extremely good engineer and smith, but doesn't really know how to do much or anything else. Nell is an excellent cook and is decent at smithing and alchemy, but knows nothing about engineering and not so good at writing or compounding. So, if I was going to go invent, I'd have to probably, if it was me, I'd probably wind up just doing engineering, right? And just work on some things as far as engineering goes for Fate and Cliff and see what they could come up with. But, basically speaking, you have to burn a lot of coal in order to, like, get stuff going. Thankfully, someone was kind enough to make an actual, um, an actual calculator. So when we see entry, what that means is that, um... Welch, you're fine, and it's fine, okay? In any case, you're stuck with me for a while. Let's try to work hard together, okay? So whenever we see entry, that means that new... Information has been updated. That means that new inventors have kind of come off of the scene, right? Young man claiming to be an engineer from Greece. Known to be a qualified engineer with considerable talent despite his young age. He is very sure of himself, with a tough side that belies his fragile looking build. Man claiming to be an engineer from Greece. Appears to be the athletic type based on his muscular physique and has an undeniably suspicious air about him. Speaks and acts rudely to women. His neck tattoo might make one thing twice about associating with him. Though, fun fact, at least to my knowledge, though now, they don't know it, but, um, like, none of the people here know it, but the three rings on Cliff's neck, that is not a tattoo. It's an actual, like, Clausians just have that. So yeah, Fade is 19, Cliff is 36, Nell is 23. Young woman with Akrios who serves her country as a guard and covert agent. Feeds the two engineers from Greet and his VIPs for some reason. Often in the company of other young female of other young women soldiers with similar bobbed hairstyles. Seems to fluctuate between being happy and displeased with the two engineers. Damn, Cliff is still older than me. Nice. Yeah, me too. Alright. So we're not gonna get into the nitty of any of that because um why is my camera out of focus all of a sudden? Hey. Hey, hey, you good? You good? That was weird. Anyway, um, thank y'all so much for coming by my stream. I appreciate it. Uh, whoa, what's all this now? So, uh, blah, 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 blah. lost my train of thought there. It was an important thing. Camera light, yeah. For some reason, it's like hyper focused on the mic and not on me. I'm the I'm the handsome one. It's me. Hi. All right, camera. Whatever. So, thank y'all for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, please make sure you hit the follow button and hit the bell so that you know when I'm going. Um, when I'm gonna be going live again. Um, we will be back. This Friday, this Friday with Fighting Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be playing some Guilty Gear Strive because it won first place in the um, poll that I do 
near the end of every month on Discord to um, figure out what game we're going to play for play what games we will play for Fighting Fridays. So by the time guilt by the time we play Guilty Gear Strive on Friday, the new patch should be out, which means that either my characters will have gotten immediately would have gotten amazing buffs, kind of okay buffs, or nerfed, and I'm going to cry like a motherfucker. But we're going to find out. If you're here really for Star Ocean, come back next Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We're, we're on it. We'll be exploring Paterni and making our way to Aquios and doing all that other good stuff. Um, do I have any mods available to throw down some commercials right quick? They may have gone to sleep. Then let me let me pop some. So, commercials in question. So since I mentioned the Discord first, um, if Discord is your thing, if you want to be able to do votes on things like Fighting Fridays, or if you just kind of want to talk shop, pick my brain about stuff, or just kind of hang out with the community, Discord's right there. Um, the link is that is. So feel free to join that up. Send um, a DM to either me or a mod. Let them know your Twitch name, how you found the stream, and we'll get you rolled up and you'll be able to kind of hang out and chill. Um, if Discord isn't your thing, but you still want to kind of like see, like follow and know what I'm up to and things like that and when streams are going to be going on, uh, socials that you can find me on. I'm on Twitter, um, at SJHS Games. I'll do a lot of different talking about things, gushing about video games, short form design thoughts, art posting sometimes, social justice stuff sometimes, a little bit of everything. Um, YouTube VODs, until I find some way of like uploading those consistently and not have it take six billion years, those are gonna stay like hyper outdated, I'm sorry. A lot of work. Um, medium articles, I do more long form game design thought stuff there. Um, currently, like I have a series of Pokemon articles up. I'm working on another one to try to put out before the end of June. Um, related to like approachability and accessibility. Um, if you want to support the stream, but don't want to give money to Jeff Bezos, um, you can support either through Ko-Fi or Throne. Um, Ko-Fi is just more general, hey, I think the stuff you're doing is really cool. Here, have some money. You can do that either one time or recurring, depending on how you feel. Or if you want to try to like just get stuff either for the stream or for me, Throne is also an option. All that said and all that done, let's go find somewhere. Let's go find somewhere to hang out. Uh, go to my mod view for Twitch. We already went to go see Kesa yesterday. Yesterday, yes. It's weird because I don't normally stream on Saturdays. So we went to see Kesa yesterday. Um, we can't go back there today. We don't do we don't do double ups here. Oh, right, I forgot. Jahara is back on for the first time in a while. We should go see her. We should go hang out with her. We should go hang out with her, because, yeah, she's getting back in. She had to take a little break for a little while. She does JRPGs, much like we kind of do here, but also is a very avid Final Fantasy XIV player. Um, this is her first stream back in a while, so let's go visit Jahara Jade. Also, she's a really great cosplayer. I forgot about that part, because my brain is full of worms. What I'm saying is Jahara is really cool, and y'all are going to have a good time hanging out with her. Hey, Rainy, you literally just caught us as we were heading out. But yeah, um, again, thank y'all for coming by stream. I'll see you for Fighting Friday, this Friday, 6 p.m. Guilty Gear Strive, new patch, and have us a good time. And then Sunday, 5 p.m., next Sunday, that is, is more of this. Open stream, then passed out for two hours. It happens. I hope it's feeling better. More than anything else, I hope it's feeling better. Yeah, let's go raid Tahara Jade. So, uh, when you get in, give her a good old SJH does raids. Let her know who sent you. Um, and give her a good idea of who sent you and how happy you are to see that she's back on. Uh... Throw in your favorite emotes too. And until I see y'all next, stay safe. Wash your hands, wear a mask, 
stay inside. Don't go out if you don't have to. Be excellent to each other. And just kind of do your best for your community and all that. Same? Let's put in the raid command and let's go. Alright then, y'all. Until next time. Bye-bye.